you know, my feeling is there's no serious candidate. You have the Weld, the former governor of, of Massachusetts, and I don't think that's a serious uh, candidate. You mean you're talking about uh, Romney? Yeah, well, Romney, Romney has articulated uh, his opposition to the moral stance mm -hmm. of President Trump. Uh, now, will Romney be able to win a Republican primary? I don't think so. No. Um, if, if, let's say, but let's say if something comes up in some of these investigations and if President Trump is forced to resign, let's not even talk about impeach. Or he gets ill. Or he gets ill. Yeah. Okay, something like that. He's a man in his 70s, right. you know, he's overweight. Who knows what could happen? Mm -hmm. I, I still think the rising star in the Republican Party is not Mitt Romney. I think it's Nikki Haley. It is Nikki Haley. And, you know, Nikki Haley, the former... Um, the former governor of South Carolina, mm -hmm. uh, the United ambassador of the United, United Nations, Nations, a woman, uh, uh, an Asian American woman of, of, of Indian, Indian ancestry. Right. Um, I think a Nikki Haley uh, could could be a very attractive Young, candidate. and she would attract that could bring that could bring women in, in the, on both women sides. and independence. And independence. Yeah. yeah, and she was a very good ambassador right. too. So a year and a half, or a year and you know two thirds, it's a long time in political terms. Right. So who knows what would happen? Well, Anything can happen. So well, Richard Reader, you've been so uh, you know you have done so much. Um, I enjoy always having <laughs> a conversation with you. Well, it's been a pleasure. It's always and, been great. And uh, we, you know, we still have a minute or so left. Uh, what is your prediction? While well, we have, I think, about a minute left in our program today, what is your prediction of, you know, we're not going <laughs> to hold you accountable. You know, you could just, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, I think you might have a Kamala Harris as the Democratic nominee. Uh, in 2020, hmm. coming out of what I said from the southern primaries and the western states primaries, uh, and I and I think uh, that you might have uh, somebody like uh, 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 Mayor Pete uh, Buttigieg emerging as the vice presidential candidate. So, so a Harris have, yeah. but a judge ticket. Oh wow! Okay. Okay, and if I'm right, I win a million dollars. We'll let the Democrats pay you for it. <laughs> one of their foundations. Maybe Hillary Clinton will come up with your um, with that with that. For okay. You. But anyway, um, I'm going to be wrapping up.